has to sort of sort it out on their own. And this will cost you. Let's keep going to point four. Because if we can get through this fourth point, I'm going to do live optimization looking at pages that you have submitted. Here's number four. Minimal is not always optimal. Now, what are we talking about? Well, minimalism is a sort of uh, popular aesthetic movement. And it's beautiful. And actually, it's, it's, a, it's an approach that I prefer in almost everything I do and in my own taste. But... We need to be careful, according again to these quotes, aesthetic and minimalist designs dialogues should not contain information which is relevant or rarely needed. That's true. A minimalist design draws the user to focus on the main subject at hand. This is true also. But sometimes in our pursuit of minimalism, we cost ourselves conversion. I want to show you a sort of confusing study. Take a look at this uh, particular uh, treatment on the left, treatment on the right. Treatment two takes a more minimalist approach. But treatment one outperforms treatment two by 14%. Now, look at this next slide. Here's treatment three. Treatment three takes an even more minimalist approach by completely removing the page altogether and letting the visitor jump straight to the category through the navigation. But this did not improve conversion at all. What's going on here? Well, in all, treatment one was the most complex version of the page from both a design and a process standpoint. And yet it proved to be the easiest and most useful experience for the visitor. You see, we do not optimize web pages. We optimize thought sequences. And our goal is not to minimize complexity. Did you hear that? Our goal is to minimize confusion. And complexity and confusion are not identical. Complexity is a simple sort of state. Confusion is an internal condition. It is the result of something, but not necessarily complexity. Information, say, presented in the wrong order can create confusion. A lack of information can create confusion. And indeed, sometimes in our effort to reduce complexity, we intensify confusion because we don't understand how the mind is, is working its way through this sort of mental journey necessary to making that decision. At Mech Labs, we study one thing only. This is all we've studied all of these years. Why do people say yes? Which implies a lot of experiments where we watch them say no. And in Many of those cases, while marketers are trying to learn persuasive words and brand new tactics and develop alternate ways to present information and, and create beautiful flash presentations and bring a who know level of art and multimedia and think about SEO and all the other considerations, they forget the simple principle that we've been saying here for years, clarity trumps persuasion. Clarity, let us call it the the inverse or the opposite of confusion is not necessarily achieved by a lack of complexity. What is complex is complex by its very organic nature. What you don't achieve when reducing the complexity is necessarily reducing the confusion. You actually increase it. Now, in many cases, our pages have too much information. And in all of those cases, it helps to reduce that information to get greater clarity. But again, the goal is not to minimize complexity, but rather confusion. And minimizing the confusion in the mind will at times include adding elements to a page. Marketers, I want to make you a philosopher. A uh, three-minute philosophy lesson. Here's the philosophy of optimization. You can only do three things to a page. You can take away, you can add, or you can change. There's nothing else you can do. When you're looking at that page you want to fix right now, you have three choices. You can add, you can take away, or you can change. Most of us uh, struggle not knowing whether we should add or take away. But when adding generates greater clarity, it's the right thing to do. When taking away gives you greater clarity, then it is the right thing to do. When changing helps intensify the value proposition, brings clarity, credibility, and focuses on the appeal, explains the exclusivity, then again, indeed, it is the best thing to do. At the heart of all this is a whole different way to think. And this slide is the most important slide in the deck. And I just want to take a moment to discuss it with you before we go into anything else. 
On the left is the standard approach that you see taken to optimization. I call it rule-based. We learn a rule somewhere. We hear the rule at a conference. We read the rule in a blog. We, we, we hear it from a colleague and we sort of keep it in our mind or it just gets stuck there. And when it comes time to design a page, people sit down and talk about the page.